Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing. Uh, I had someone comment about Federation. What's Federation? How do I use Federation? So here I have a surface, I created a join, and then what I've done is I've taken and made an ex a pad. You can see there's my sketch pad, and I just linked it to these two planes to control that so I don't have to go into the sketch. I can just move the plane without going in and out. It's easier to uh, sort of see what I'm talking about or prove my point. Now, uh, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a fillet. And this fillet is going to sit on this edge. Now you'll notice that this edge is created by this pad. This pad has gone up to that surface. So that edge is technically made by this face, or this patch on that surface, on that join. If I double click on this plane and I move it, and I'm going to go back, and as soon as I go into new space, meaning a new face on that surface, the edge no longer works. So the edge fillet fails. And the reason why is, is because each individual patch has a different name or a different numeral or a different uh, convention for it. So as I move from one patch to the next patch, the system doesn't know how to generate that edge fillet because it's looking for that patch. Um, if I look at this, you'll see um, uh, it is an individual patch, okay? It is, not, um, it is not seen as one big, whole, giant surface. So I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to go into Federation and say All. Now, Federation is meant for things like, I I've used it before in the past for things like if I'm going to do... Um, uh, if I know that, like in this case, I have a trim that I always want to trim that surface and it's going to move around a lot. Or for NC purposes, I use federation because a lot of times those inner patches uh, on, a, uh, on a part like this, when you go to the NC, cause problems with the NC. So you want to, you want to remove those. Now you still see those patches. You can still see them here. It is uh, technically making one bounded surface. You can see those four boundaries on that surface, or ten, whatever it may be, uh, as one single federated element, whatever whatever count you may have. So I'm going to hit, hit OK. The entire thing is federated, and that edge fillet fails. And the reason why the edge fillet fails is because I changed the join. So this face is no longer a singular face. Now you'll notice if I hover over the top of it, it's the entire join that's selected, not just that one face. So now the system is recognizing that join as one singular patch rather than all of the individual patches. So I'm going to double click on it and just reattach it to that edge. Now I'm going to make this plane shift back and forth and you'll see here it doesn't fail. All right, So it does a good job. Now something else that I've done is I'm going to go ahead and hide show this sweep. You'll see I have the sweep coming off of this edge. It forms a hard edge here. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to pick this sweep, add it in as part of the join. And uh, let's see, update cycle, boundary, sweep. Oh, that's right. I made that, I apologize. I made that uh, join, and then I made a boundary off of that join. So I just make a new join. We're going to generative shape. That, my friends, is what an error looks like. We'll go like that, and I'm going to federate all. Select OK. I'm going to double click on this pad and I'm going to say up to surface, up to here. Select OK. And the reason why I'm going through this is I'm going to show you the same thing. I'm going to double click on this plane. I'm going to move it and you'll see that as it gets further and further out, oops, saying it can't split it completely. I went too far. Um, you'll see it still works. I don't have any problems. So I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to hide this. Now I'm going to go back into part design. And this is where it gets interesting. If I come in here and try to apply a fillet to this, if you'll notice I try to pick that edge. I cannot pick that edge. That edge is seen as an internal feature to that uh, um, federated join. And because of that, it's now seeing this as a singular element. That whole top face is being seen as a singular element. So if I try to pick that edge, you'll notice that all of the edges get picked. And if I select OK, you'll notice that everything gets filleted.
And this is where federation can be dangerous if you're not careful. Because we're still so used to seeing individual faces, individual patches as individual entities. I can pick them, do things with them, whatever. In this case, because of that federation, it sees that entire patch or that entire face as um, one singular entity. So when I go to try to pick it for an edge fillet, everything gets selected. I pick the actual face to apply the edge fillet. If I look at this, the selection, you'll see edge fillet face, not an edge. You pick the face. So all things attached to that face that are tangent are being selected. So let me undo that. And I'm going to double click on this join. And I'm going to go into federation. I'm going to say no federation. Mm -hmm. Take it back to standard operating protocol. I expect that to fail. So I just need to add that back in. Now when I go in and add in my fillet, pick this edge, you'll see that the edge is now selected. Select OK and just that edge gets filleted. So that's where you have to be careful with federation. And again, I do use it. Not super common, not super often, but there are times where in the past I join a big surface, I have a lot of patches, and I know that um, a boundary is going to be moving back and forth and every time it moves it's going to cause a failure. I don't want that. So a smooth surface like I had initially, everything's filleted, everything's done smooth. One big giant singular entity works great, works fantastic. But if you have sharp edges or you know you're going to be, you, you know you may need an uh, internal patch later on for whatever purposes, you may need to think about doing a federate. Again, it isn't something you do all the time. Uh, it's great for NC purposes, uh, that type of stuff as well. But uh, um, just just be careful where you do use it. Again, it's easy enough to go back and fix it. And the issue is, is if you do change it from a federated element to a non-federated element, anything attached to the join that's federated, that was once federated, then now needs to be reattached. Again, remember, um, the individual patches come out. All right. So uh, that's the that's the short end uh, of the of the federation. You'll see it in a few operators, some extract tools and such. Um, and uh, again, just be careful when you use it. It's a great tool. Um, I actually think it's super powerful. I think it's very, very useful when you need it. Extremely, extremely powerful. Anyway, uh, that's Federation. Thanks again for watching. Um, please like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, um, just get the word out. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.